Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna take a look at what's inside this hornet nest. This is from a video I filmed last year and it's been on my shelf in my house and I heard something crawling inside. I'm pretty sure a mouse chewed its way and is eating the grubs inside there or made a nest. That's so crazy, a mouse is living in a bald-faced hornet nest. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up and try to catch a mouse and get it inside this container. Hopefully it doesn't escape. But I can definitely hear something moving in there and I see where it drug in some paper towels or something. I guess the first step is to make sure we don't have two openings, so I'm gonna block this one. I'll place some cardboard on it and have the lid ready to go. So let's go ahead and dissect this bald-faced hornet nest with a mouse living inside. Let's see what it's doing in there. You can see all the layers of paper. Oh, mouse poop is pouring out along with dead hornets. There's a the mouse. We got it, I knew it was in there. Well, I guess this was just too perfect of a place for the mouse to live, it pretty much destroyed it. Now I posted a video where I got this bald faced hornet nest last year. If you wanna see me dealing with those hornets, I'll put a link down below. I was gonna save it for outdoor school and show the kids, but so much for that, the mouse pretty much moved in and it is ruined. You can see all the dead bald faced hornets. So fascinating the paper they make. It had a nice little nest and top. It's been chewing up the paper and that's where it was gonna live. Well, this was not the video I was expecting to film today. I was actually in the middle of filming a mole trapping video when I heard a ruckus on the shelf inside this wasp nest and I knew that a mouse had moved in. Now normally I don't have a mouse problem because I have so many dizzy dunkers and flip and slides set up, but I took those out to deal with a mouse problem at a different place and within a few days, mice were coming back. And here's one that didn't make the best choice, but actually it's gonna be pretty lucky. This is a non-native invasive species, so I can't set it free but I need a smaller mouse to test out the live catch traps. My pet mice are so large with long tails, and this is a wild one, so it'll be a better test subject. So it's gonna become a pet. I'll give it a cage. I'll even let it live in this nest here. You can use the paper, but it needs a name. So if you have a name, leave a comment down below for our new Mousetrap Monday staff. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over a thousand videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see this mouse in future videos and see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a mouse problem, please consider clicking the link in the description and purchasing one of the mouse traps I invented. It's called the Dizzy Dunker Mousetrap and I consider it to be the greatest mousetrap ever made.